Perfect. Sounds good. If I can uh, make it look like it's somewhere else, I'll do that. <laughs> I think this morning, I want to give you an idea of what life is like as someone with ADHD that just really struggles with all the things they have in progress and all the things they want to do. But you want to know the most foul thing about all of this is that there is... <laughs> He's crying in the event. There's zero pressure. It's all pressure I've just put on myself. Why did I choose black? I don't even have a pen to write on black. Come on. But I do have this package that arrived yesterday from Sporting KC. I've opened it. Okay. So I'll use the box for this demonstration, but let's have a look at what's inside. So this package came in over the weekend from Sporting KC. I had a quick look inside last night. The wife was too... Uh, antsy to have a look inside. Oliver, we hope you enjoy some of our favorite and newest sporting style gear. Your friends at Sporting KC. Oh, thank you guys. So I was told this was coming, but I had no idea what to expect. So shirt number one. This is from Grungy Gentleman. Never heard of that brand before. Decent enough t-shirt. The fit is all right. I don't think this is my style though. I think the bands on the sleeve, I don't think this is this is quite me. But the other two pieces, I haven't tried them on yet, but they are super cool. I think I'll need to keep this on for the next piece. I'm not massively into style, although I do like to dress well. I just don't have any desire to like do the dressing myself. But what I'm thinking with these items is, I find the right clothing to make them fit well. So this is from Mitchell and Ness, and I have a ton of their shirts, uh, hats actually. Get the fluff off. See this, I feel like with, if this was oversized, so this is a medium, if I got this in like a large or an extra large, I feel like that could be really cool because it's a, a cool like vintage type top. Maybe, hmm, baggy trousers, a hoodie underneath? Like wear it like jersey type style? That's what I think. So maybe we'll go out and do a shop for stuff. See this, the color blue, I would never normally wear this, right? So it's a varsity jacket. And when you're in America, you gotta have a varsity jacket, but, this is the type of thing that if styled well, like with a nice hoodie underneath, I think more of like a brown hoodie. Brown hoodie? This could look quite good. Oh, he's so swell. So swell. Well, what am I doing? Yeah, I think like on its own, it's kind of lame, especially for my kind of outfit. But if you layer it, I think this could be really cool. Lame, that sounds mean, but just like styled this way. All right, so maybe I'll take the wife out and she can start dressing me, pick out a few items, or see what I can find upstairs. <laughs> nice to get a little package of clothes though. But you see, that's exactly what I'm talking about is where I get sidetracked. That was not an important thing to do in the scheme of all the things I have to do, but I needed this box. Now I need a knife. Nice. Let's start with that for now. Right, someone with ADHD, me, what I really struggle with is I see all of these and I think, wow, uh, I don't even know which one to start. And so I struggle with even starting. And normally I take everything and I'd list it out like this, priority order, be like, okay, I'll do that top one. But then I'm also looking at the second one and I'm thinking, oh, but I kind of want to do that one first, even though that one's higher priority. So I had this idea this morning, and if I sort them into two lists, the things that are already in progress and have to be done, and the things that I want to do. Bouncy ball drone, monster trucks, Domino's drone. Want to do that. Next step is to prioritize them, and we're getting, we're getting to the goal here, Oliver. So I'm gonna start with my normal style of layering it out in priority. Fill prep is hot. Now, I layer everything on top of each other. Now, I have a list of all the things I want to do, but I only, can only see one at a time, which means I can only get to the next item once I've finished the top item. I hope this will help. <laughs> and by the way, and this other list of want to do's, I'll just prioritize and put to one side for now because I need to finish those things. 
Of course. So, vlog's done, monster trucks are done. Let me tell you about why that's important. Is that bat poop? We have bats? How are you getting onto there? Anyway, I emptied this of sand the other day and I had this idea. Ruger's been really into monster trucks recently. I was thinking I'd fill that up with sand or mud and make a, turn it into a monster truck pit so he can ride his little tiny monster trucks around in there. I think that would be sweet. But now we're gonna do something the old fashioned way. Hi, dude. Uh... So I had a little look around online to see how I would get in contact with someone here, but I thought let's just come here, have a chat with someone, and, excuse me, and see if this is even a possibility of going on these fields. I've got a reason why it might work out in their favor, but we'll see. Also, these complexes in America are just unreal to me. Absolutely unreal being someone from England and you don't see complexes like this. Madness. How do I get in? Not there. It's like the front doors around the front, surprisingly. There is a game going on right now. I had a, a guy I used to play with back home in England. Went to this college here called Union College that seemed to be playing here. So it looks like a college game. It's gonna say dumbass college chance, but it's just people having fun, isn't it? And it's me being grouchy. This blows my mind every time. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you know where I would find anyone in the marketing department? Upstairs? Cool. Thank you. Hop, pop, pop, pop. Let's go, go, go. It's like it's uh, affiliated with sporting. Well, not really affiliated. Hey, how you doing? Good. Uh, do you have anyone in your marketing department that's here? Um, yeah, me. You? Okay, yeah. cool. Joe, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Oliver. Perfect. Sounds good. If I can uh, make it look like it's somewhere else. I'll do that. <laughs> appreciate your help. I appreciate yeah. you uh, no seeing it this way. Sounds good. Thank All you right. very much. Yep, no Have worries. a good one. Thank you, Pam. Joe, appreciate your help, man. No Thank problem. you. Okay. Easier than expected. So let's go have a kick around. I brought my boots and a ball. Let's go do it. I finally found a little spot to play. So I bought the extra grippy grip socks that I made. So we've got one that are horizontal, one that's vertical, and we'll see how they do in the boots. This is also the first time I've worn these boots. So if I'm absolutely awful, which I know I am, go easy on me, okay? Go easy on me. I also don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them into the shoe. And Oliver, when was the last time you kicked a ball around? That was at MLS All-Star Week back in July. It's the end of September now, so things are gonna be dodgy. Oh. I made a vlog about this too, but the Columbus crew, come on you sausage. So I know we're always used to turf fields being this like um, the rubber stuff, but up in Columbus, the training grounds for the Columbus crew, they have wood chippings instead of this black stuff. Out with the black stuff. <sighs> come on. Which ones are these? These are the long verticals are way more difficult to get on for some reason. I was expecting the horizontals to be more difficult. All right. Oh dear, not off to a brilliant start. Oh my gosh, this feels weird. Without laces. And like the toes are all flicked up. Okay, good, we're done. Tell you what. They're bloody uncomfortable. I think I'll do a grip sock just covered in grip at the bottom. Me? Yeah. Nah, I just uh, I gotta make TikToks and YouTubes now. Horizontal lines are pretty good. Vertical lines, absolutely trash. Don't do those, but pretty sticky on foot. It's nice to get a problem solved. I've been thinking about this for a long time because like I said, I have permission to use the fields up north, but they're so far away. It's like an hour and a half round trip just to find somewhere to kick a ball and this place is just down the road. It's like, why bother? You know what's funny as well? When I was legally unemployed in this country waiting on my green card, I would go into, physically into businesses to hand my resume or to try and talk to the right person. And I understand people are busy, they have meetings, they don't want to see someone without a meeting, I get it. But every single one of those, I was turned away. But that, Oliver, isn't the funny part. The funny part is the fact that that is some advice that I would have taken from my parents to go and 
physically go into the place, hand a resume, and then you learn that that's not how the world works anymore. And instead, you would just submit everything online. But now, 2024, bear in mind that was probably 2015, 16, 2024, you can, <laughs> post COVID, now that people are back in the office, people are more accepting of that. And they'd rather that than an email because all they get are emails back and forth. I was expecting there to be nuances in this of like needing to show that I have some kind of, come from some kind of, let's say, position of power with my, with a following. Oh, it sounds so gross to say. Uh, more that I can offer value, you know, and that I'm part with the MLS. But actually, they didn't care about those things. And it's actually sent me on this path recently. I think I mentioned it two vlogs ago. 